The day is dawning. The sun has not risen yet, but the sky is pink. And that bodes well for another clear, beautiful day on Lookout Mountain. I'm a, like I said, I'm going to talk about two subjects. One subject is what to do if you are retired. A fellow has been messaging me. Bless his heart. He sends me a long message and I send a short one back. And that's just the way things are right now in my life and in his life. He hasn't quite found what to do in his retirement years yet. And thanks to my affiliation with YouTube, <laughs> I am over busy. So my mailman also has this problem. He has been postponing retirement for years because he didn't know what to do if he retired except watch television. I'm going to try to make this as simple as I can. <laughs> this is something I was thinking about last night. I felt I had lost my way but I feel like I found it again today, so I can speak with authority on this. Stephen Covey in uh, Seven Habits book mentions, Delphine, let me make the video, be quiet. He mentions the old rocks in the jar trick. And he says, if you have many rocks of different sizes, put the big ones in the jar first. So you're gonna fill up a jar with rocks. You got some big ones, some small ones. He says, you gotta put the big ones in first and then you can let the small ones filter into the spaces. And I remembered that. I haven't read, read the book in many years, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And, and that's what you got to think about if you're retiring. First, what is the one big thing you're going to do? And it's not watching Jeopardy, I hope, or playing video games. But what is the one big thing you can do? It can be going fishing, it can be going golfing, it can be volunteering, it can be writing your autobiography, or as a 94-year-old friend of ours, her big thing was writing the biography of her husband. You have unlimited choices of what to do. You can go back to college. You may even be able to take college courses free. But find the big rock and immerse yourself in that project. Just find something. And then you can find other littler projects like learning ukulele. That could be your big project or one of many little projects or playing piano. I'm just mentioning mine. Fixing up your house and property, having a garden, learning a foreign language, learning new subjects on YouTube. You could get a college education just by watching YouTube videos on different things. Have your own YouTube channel. That's, that's certainly work to keep me busy. <laughs> Eight, 10, or 12 hours a day. There are no shortages 
of big projects, medium size or small ones. It's just a shortage of making a decision, exploring the possibilities and saying, this is what I'm going to do. I remember when my mom retired, she started a little printing business where she would print up business cards and various things with her laser or her, her color inkjet printer. I don't know if that's a viable possibility anymore, but she was very happy to do that. She also sold um, cosmetics and made money and uh, was, was excited to do that. Look around you. See what other people are doing. What is in your heart to do? How can you see yourself having fun, maybe helping other people, doing something special? Well, I guess I'm just going to leave it at that. I had another topic I was going to talk about, but I think I've covered my allotted time. <laughs> And I think that's a good topic. So there. I'll save the other one for tomorrow. Thanks for watching.